Hi there, I'm Nev. Um, you should all go watch my day long crouching short video. It's really good. Um, you might learn something. Not in a arsehole way I'm saying that. I mean, like, you know, there's a lot of information in that that's probably worth uh, having a look at, especially if you struggle fighting against Fairlong. Um, but yeah, have a look at it. Um, I'm going to show something new here. There. This is actually brand new. I've just figured it out. Um, I did a video not long back about using frame trap, like kick flame kick with a throw tech built into it that Fudo used to use. So you can convert into super if you got full gauge. And I thought, well, this is possible, but extremely difficult. Not many people are going to be able to do this. Um, you're definitely not going to do it online. It's not possible. Um, and offline is also going to be extremely difficult to do it as well. So I just thought, well, hmm, maybe it's just not worth doing. But I had a bit of a eureka moment on the bus home <laughs> thinking about this. Um, and I realized that you don't even need to confirm it because you can option select all of the input and just whatever happens, you'll get the best result. Um, so the start of it is basically the flame kick with attack. Yeah, pretty basic. Where you can start from crouch, and just do that. Then the next part is FADC into flame kick. Sorry, not into flame kick, into chicken wing, sorry. So that's what you'll get. But if you get a trade hit, typically you would forward dash and then you would confirm into another chicken into another chicken wing without having to spend the meter, which is alright. Um, if you have the meter, you can potentially confirm into super, but it's really difficult to time and really difficult to confirm in the heat of the moment. Um, what I've realised though is that if you input the FADC and then if you always input the chicken wing instead of down back to up forwards and kick, if you do a quarter circle input first and then do the chicken wing with a medium kick and a jab input you'll always get super if you've got the meter but if the FADC comes out you won't get the super and you'll always get the chicken wing instead so let's try and set this up to begin with so as usual first thing to do is to set up the dummy It's, real, it's always really important, just as an aside here, that even when you're setting up the training dummy to have a tech input, so you can train against, uh, so, so you can train your frame trapping, it's always important to set up a legitimate tech. So when you set it up, always check the tech, like afterwards, to see if that, if your throw timing, it would always be teched, because that is what you're aiming for. You're aiming to blow up someone's legitimate tech. Uh, so that seems fine. Still a slightly delayed one. Yeah. So that all works. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the flame kick to try and hit the to try and get a counter hit ultimately, but also to try and hit the trade. If we get a trade, we'll option select into um, super. Um, so you'll get super instead. So let's give this a go. So, pause that a minute. So you can see that it's possible. It's the same input. And you can react to it, really. Like, you can react to the fact that it's hit. 
or not. So instead of actually reacting to whether you've got a trade hit or a clean hit, all you're reacting to now is whether it was hit or whether it, it was blocked. <clears throat> so at that point, I mean, if you're FADC in forward anyway, you're going to eat a punish potentially anyway. But at least you're not having to, you know, have that to and fro in your mind where it's like, oh, maybe it did trade, maybe maybe it isn't going to trade, and you're thinking about the tech timing too much, and then you end up fucking up the input. It's more just about just do it, and what, <laughs> no matter how it hits, you're going to get the best outcome. Now, you're probably thinking, well... Why wouldn't you just confirm it anyway? Well, you don't have to. That's the point. Like, the point of it is that you'd never need to confirm it anymore. And I'm going to show that now by um, just recording the dummy. So, restart. Who will emerge a champion? Fight! Let's get full meter first. Set a memory. Record. And then we're going to set the memory again here. So we've got the memory set. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to record the dummy with the same input. Basically, hit and fail long with the same inputs. And no matter what happens, it's going to confirm into the right option. Added bonus, obviously, is that you get your crouch tech built into it. Now we're gonna crouch tech it. So. Oh. And obviously you can confirm into Ultra. So yeah, um, you never need to confirm it anymore. It's just literally a case of just input it that way every single time and you'll get the best option every single time as well. Um, it's quite a rare instance as well that that's going to happen. Um, it's only ever going to happen if you've got super. It's only ever going to happen mid-screen really. Um, I, know, I suppose you could get it in the corner maybe. just depends. Um, but in the corner you might as well always just do flame kick FADC backdash and then just confirm it a chicken wing from there. But anyway, um that's just some extra shit that I've found. Um like I said, watch the crouching short video, it's pretty good. I'm quite proud of it. Um anyway, thanks. Bye.